All right, so we've got our trench dug. Right. We've got our base rock in and mm -hmm. tamped and level. Right. Ready to start building our wall. Right. Now we decided with this wall that we're going to go about seating heights, about 20 inches. Right. How high can the Roman stack stone go? Roman stacks, uh, two feet. Okay. Is what we recommend on the max. And how high, I mean, what's the highest wall you can build? Well, it, it varies on the wall product. Generally speaking, uh, and each county and city varies a little bit, but mm -hmm. four feet is the max you can do okay. yourself without a permit. And then that means engineering. Okay. Uh, soil samples and an engineer's got to get involved and then there's got to be stamp uh, drawings and all that type of thing. So essentially the tallest wall you can build on your own is about four feet. Generally speaking, yeah. All right. We have a program actually, it's so eight foot and under mm -hmm. with one of our wall products that you can do, you can still do the wall yourself. You send a soil sample in, take pictures of your site and an engineer will give you a stamp uh, certification, tell you how, to, how big your footing needs to be and what kind of reinforcement you may need. And then you can take that in and get a permit. Great. All right, so again, we've, we're all ready to go here. How do we know where to start? Well, we want to start at the lowest point. Okay, and okay. how do you know where that is? Well, you use your level, you use your string line. Okay. Um, and then, you know, obviously visually uh, take a look at your yard, but that's going to be back behind us. And uh, we're going to spend, this is where you spend a little extra time in the project to okay. make sure that the finished product is going to look right. So we've, you know, we got the gravel, our, our base in and tamped, and we made sure that's level. So it'll make it easier on us when we're doing our base uh, course. And we're gonna place each stone down, we're gonna level it front to back, side to side, and then once we get that done, and then it's just stacking block and the fun begins. Okay, now when we're stacking the block, we're doing, we're starting at the front of the trench? Right. Okay. Right. All right, well, let's get started you then. You bet. All right, so we're gonna put our first block down. Yeah, we're gonna put a first block down, back a little bit farther, okay? And now what we want to do is, because of this center lug, mm -hmm. we've got some cheater sticks here that we're going to use so we can use our little torpedo level. Okay. Front to back and then side to side. So obviously we've got a little bit of adjustment to do. And with this, we can just kind of work it into the gravel. Okay. That looks good there. There we're a little high on the right hand side so we can take our our mallet and give it a few wax a little bit more until we get it level and then we can put our next block in we're going to work that in mm -hmm. get it level so we want it level across here again front to back and then side to side. And we're gonna continue that on all the way down. And because we're doing a pattern, we're alternating the eight inch and the 12 inch block here right. as we go along. Right, And again, this is where all your work in leveling mm -hmm. the, uh, the gravel, your, your uh, foundation will make it easier in leveling your, your base course. But okay. once you spend that extra time making sure each block is level front to uh, back and side to side, It'll make your project come out a lot better. Okay, so once we kind of have our base course in and level, then we need to stack block. 